Hello and welcome to Forever Rugby on Forever Sports. A nervous wait for the Lions, who at this stage are in the top eight and have qualified for the URC playoffs. But they'll have to wait to see how the rest of the weekend plays out. Benson have done them an incredible favor um, by being 31 points to six up against Edinburgh as I record this with 15 seconds to go. Uh, which means that the Lions are eighth at the moment and providing the Ospreys do not beat Cardiff with a bonus point. Uh, on next or later this day and go to 50 points, the Lions will be through and will finish eighth. So it's a tremendous season and accomplishment for the Lions, but I'm left sitting here as a Lions quarter very, very disappointed with how things have gone because this game, the Stormers versus Lions game we're going to talk about now is a game the Lions should never even been close to losing um, and to be perfectly honest, could very well have given them a chance at... Um, Champions Cup rugby. So let's get into it, shall we? Uh, final score, 26, 20, 29 points to 24. A red card to the Stormers to Angelo Davids. Two big injuries to the Lions in no Raz Bafane and no Snare Nahamba if they do play in the quarterfinals next weekend, um, which is a big blow, especially Nahamba, who's been so good for the Lions this season. Uh, a frustrating game. Uh, an interesting game where the teams traded blows. Uh, you know, first points were off the boot for the Lions. Um, and that kind of set the tone really. The Lions really looking to try and uh, and 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 build a lead rather than um, going for the trial. For me, it was very frustrating. So I thought that you know that four try bonus point was very much out there to get to get this today. And I think if we had been braver, we would have gotten it. We would have been first of all, we would have known we would have been in the um, the, the the playoffs already. And uh, I think you score four tries against Stormers today, you win the game. And that would have put us in the Champions Cup. So not being brave enough, I think, is going to come back to haunt the Lions from a Champions Cup perspective. Uh, from a playoffs, we'll have to wait and see. But Hendricks have got things going uh, before uh, the Stormers hit back through a Fento rolling more. Leibach adding the extras. Uh, Hendricks then made it a one-point game before Franco Horn went over for the first try. Nice try in the 18th minute. Uh, that was cancelled out by uh, Angelo Davids, who went over in the 23rd minute. Pretorius then uh, cancelled that out. And when we put the Lions back in the lead in the 31st minute with uh, Hendricks uh, then adding the extras before the Lions became the first team of the day to um, score consecutively. Uh, a late penalty towards halftime. Gave them a nine-point lead at halftime. And you think, right, nine-point lead, win the game, score more, two more tries, and that is Champions Cup secured. Not the case. Started very badly in the, uh, in the second half. Uh, early penalty. And uh, then they could see the try as well. So all of a sudden, you know, that that lead that we had was all of a sudden gone and was one back to one point game. And, you know, Mario Slow, captain of the Lions, got to take responsibility. You know, he's a, a red card to Angelo Davids in the 48th minute. Mario Slow taking exception to the tackle from Angelo Davids on Sander Hammer by shoving him over, receiving a yellow card himself. Had he not received that yellow card, it would have been half an hour, 32 minutes of... 15 on 14 rugby that the Lions could have piled the pressure on to, to the Stormers and, and won that match. Uh, instead, they some poor tackling. Man, Evan Ruiz went through with a, not, for a good try. Hendricks uh, with a late, again, 73rd minute. Lions with so much momentum get a penalty. In fact, even before that, they had a penalty right up against the touchline, try to go for poles. If they'd gone for the line there and scored a try, we would have been ahead. And we could have had 10, 15 minutes of trying to find that one ever so important bonus point try. And that wasn't the case. We kind of settled for just being in the game. And then the late try by Smith, um, whether it was grounding or not, is, is up for discussion. Uh, Leibok adding the extras, 29 points, 24, is how it ends. So it's a nervous wait to the Lions fan to see what's going to happen later. Um, again, I think we played well enough at, at times to, to get that victory. Um, it could be a massive, I mean, it could be going to Munster, for example, for that quarterfinal. It could be Leinster. It could even be a Bulls. Um, in terms of what the Lions might play if they do sneak through into the quarterfinals, which would be a huge result. But I just felt that they could have been braver today um, and maybe should have. If you look at some of the stats, though, some amazing performances. JC Vittorius, once again, absolutely superb. Uh, territory, 50-50, basically, 51-41. Lions with more possession. Uh, set plays, the Lions scrum uh, was penalized a lot. Um, despite having 100% scrum success, they had a lot of issues at scrum time. Lions were actually better than Stormers, ironically. Uh, on the attack, Lions did all the attacking. 242 meters in post-contact meters, twice as many carries. Um, you know, they played really well. Um, turnovers, I think uh, Lions did very well. Lots of turnovers won there. Uh, JC Victorious once again off the ground there. Discipline not great from, from, from either side. Nine, nine apiece, so it's not terrible, but I think sloppy. If you look at some of the penalties that were conceded, 88% um, tackle success rate from the Lions, 80% from the Stormers. Look, you've got to give Stormers a lot of credit for hanging in there. A great forward performance. 
um, and the, the red card didn't really affect them. Uh, if you look at some of the key players, Franco Horn, 11 carries, Mario van der Berg, 8 carries. Uh, big defensive effort there from Ben Jason Dixon. He got 19 uh, tackles. Players that impressed me from both teams. Yeah, I mean, as mentioned, Jason Batoris is very good, as was Mario van den Berg. Um, um, I thought that um, for the Stormers, Flash Fame and Gomazulu went, went, went quite nicely at 15. Another big performance from Ben Jason Dixon. Evan Ruiz is growing. Um, good scrimmaging performance from Neertling for sure as well. So it's lots of positives from a South African rugby fan point of view. Uh, from the Lions' point of view, I'm just a bit frustrated because I think you know we should have gone for that extra bonus point. And had we done that, um, we would have already been in the quarters. Uh, but now we have to wait and see. So we have to wait and see. Let me know what you think. Do you think we'll get there? Let me know down in the comments below. Smash a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel as well. And I'll see you guys soon.